Good morning, everybody. It's Rackin' 07 with you, and I most certainly hope you are having a great day. So, I am uh, going to do Jasmine's tag this morning, and I didn't do last week's. So it just, um, I don't know. I got busy, and uh, anyway, I'm sorry about that, Jasmine, but I'm doing this week. Okay, it's good. All right. Um, and plus the fact that some of the questions I would probably sound like I'm lecturing and I don't want to do that because I it used to drive me up a wall when people would do that. Like, you know, you really shouldn't be doing that kind of thing, you know? That's not me. So I would just rather shut up and you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So question number one is how old were you when you watched your first horror film? I think I was like 13 or 14. Um, that's when I realized that uh, the horror films really aren't for me. And um, it scared the living crap out of me. So it was, I think it was something about the one with Salem's Lot. And I was just like, oh my God. The whole, and everybody's like, what? That's not scary. And I'm like, <gasps> Really? You don't say? <laughs> I know. But would I watch it again? Probably not. No. It gave me nightmares, you guys. It was crazy. Alright. Two is, the creepiest thing that has happened to you being on your own. Oh! Wow. Well, let's see. <laughs> see, this is why I don't need um horror movies, because I have real life that seems to follow me around. So, um, I would say, see, I'm used to it. Like, real life stuff doesn't bother me. Um, since I've been on my own, it was probably, um, we lived in this apartment in the mountains. And it wasn't so much scary because... Um, I've lived in a haunted house before, and this junk keeps, like, seems to follow me, so you never know. And, uh, that place, I don't, I don't think it was so much haunted as it was, like, residual energy, but it used to be, uh, one of those, uh, animal, like, shelter places, right? And sometimes I would hear dogs, and we didn't have dogs dogs. We had one dog in the building, but you could hear like a couple of them. It was weird. And then I think it would, I would say the worst thing was here. The creepiest is when I first saw, as we call him, okay, as we call him the dude, okay. And me and my friend were sitting at the kitchen table talking and it was in a different spot than it is now and this man walked through the I, I'm serious you guys it was wild walked through the wall crossed our living room into the bathroom and boom disappeared we saw it we saw it you could see through this guy he was wearing a brown suit he had a, a fedora hat on and he was really white Does that makes sense like he would look kind of, well, it was like transparent. It was just, that was the first time I ever seen a full apparition. I mean, head on. And my friend saw it too. And she had never seen anything ever in her life. And we're sitting here and I just kind of like looked at it and I, I was like, you know, kind of, and I looked down and I looked over her and she goes, you okay? I said, did you see that? And she said, yeah. I said, explain it to me. She did. Completely. And I was just like, oh my god. You know, but yeah, that was that was pretty creepy. And that's in this apartment. And um, I have seen him this since then, but not nothing. Nothing. To where I could get distinctive features like a fedora hat. You know, it's like... Anyways. It was just wild. Okay, three is, have you ever walked in the woods late at night, on your own late at night? Uh, no, but I did go with some friends, 
and I, I got really scared because I don't like the dark. <laughs> I don't. It's scary. And you know what? For the longest time, I used to think that when you die, it was nothing but darkness forever. No lie. Terrified. Like you were stuck in this box in the ground and it was just nothing but black. But you were still there. As your body was like getting cruddy and stuff, but you were there. It, oh, no, it was bad. Um, so I got really freaked out. And I'm trying to act all, all big like I could handle this, right? I got this, yeah. We, we were there about 10 minutes. I'm like, can we go? Can we go? Okay. This is why people mess with me. And I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Would you play a game with your friends on any night? Bloody Mary. Um, I played it before and it didn't work. It did not work. Um, some people swear that they saw Bloody Mary. I'm thinking, man, you really take power of suggestion literally. Because I'm not into that. I mean, I'm... I guess you could say I'm level-headed. And I think that's why I don't think that seeing things, I never discredit that, you know, because I, I'm a skeptic constantly. I'm like, no, that can't be, it has to be this, this, or this, all right? And I'm not really a skeptic now, per se, as far as ghosts and things like that go, um, because I've seen it with my own eyeballs and other people have, but I would say probably, uh, no, no, I never did. Tried it, didn't work, thought it was stupid. Uh, five, give me a short story where, where there was people sitting around a campfire in a horror film. You can remember one of these stories. Uh, I don't... Jasmine, oh, puss. I'm serious. I'm like the biggest wussy I know. When it comes to, like, that kind of stuff, I am not, I hate the dark. I hate it. It is, like, absolutely one of the worst things that, it's terrible. It really is. For me, I hyperventilate. Um, I panic. I go into manic, complete panic, you know, and it's not, it, it's always been that way. I've always had to, my mom said even as a baby, I would scream my guts out. When it was completely dark. I mean, hello? <laughs> I mean, I was in my mother. I mean, you know, that's dark, isn't it? But anyway, yeah, I didn't, I don't, I don't like the dark. I still don't. And I still, um, sleep with the nightlight on. Although we do have a lot of lights around, uh, the apartment building. And so it's not so bad. But, uh, I could probably do with that. But I've, I've always had a nightlight. Poor Matt. Well, anyways, those are my answers, and I talk too much. I know I do. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace be with you. God bless. Always. Bye-bye.